Every ship that enters a port carries more than cargo. It carries responsibility, accountability, and strict security obligations. Before a ship even arrives, it must have onboard security records. These documents detail every port of call, security conditions encountered, and any issues along the journey. Nothing is left to chance. Every ship must be visible at all times. That's why all vessels are required to carry an automatic identification system, or AIS, allowing authorities to track movements in real time. Ships must also be equipped with a ship security alert system, known as SSAS. In an emergency, this silent alert instantly notifies authorities, without timing off a potential threat on board. Security isn't just equipment, it's people. Each ship must appoint a ship security officer, who conducts a full security assessment and develops a detailed ship security plan. When approaching a port, ships must present documentary evidence, crew details, employment responsibility, security compliance. Only then can entry be considered. Ports also set the rules. Ships must be informed of the security level in force before entering, and ports retain the authority to control or restrict ship movements if needed. Globally, this system is governed by the ILO-IMO Code of Practice on Port Security, supporting the ISPS code. It defines three security levels, from routine operations to heightened threat response. To enforce this, ports must appoint a port facility security officer, trained, tested, and prepared through regular drills and exercises, because secure ships and secure ports are the backbone of safe, uninterrupted global trade. Like and follow for more insights.